This week on Granite State Challenge, the Phoenix of the Academy for Science and Design take on the Tomahawks of Merrimack High School. Only one team will advance. Granite State Challenge starts now. Major funding for the production of Granite State Challenge is provided by Unitil. Additional funding provided by NEA New Hampshire. Safety Insurance. New Hampshire Lottery. Heinemann Publishing. Cognia, HRCU, Manchester Community College, and viewers like you. Thank you. Get ready. It's time for New Hampshire high schools to match wits in a high-stakes scholastic showdown. It's time for Granite State Challenge. Here's your host, John Cannon. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us this week. This week, we have the first of our quarterfinal matchups. We've got two teams. They've already battled once to make it here. They're going to battle each other this week to see who makes it on to the semifinals. Let's introduce them to you, shall we? First up, we have the team from the Academy for Science and Design, and they are led by senior captain Jonah, who recently was in a musical. Tell us about it. Yes, it's a musical based off of the plots of several different Shakespeare plays, and it uses Elvis music to convey the story of love. All right, did you sing anything? Could you show us any bit? Yes, I did sing something. Don't be cruel All right. to a heart that's true. I love it. All right, he's joined by Ella. Ella's a junior and recently took a trip to Washington, D.C. How was that? It was really fun. Uh, one day we were trying to go to the Lincoln Memorial and we got lost in traffic and ended up going to Virginia three times by mistake. Three times by mistake on one trip. Yep. Excellent. All right, she's joined by junior Derek, who also does theater and recently was nominated for an award. Tell us about it. Uh, so I was nominated for the New Hampshire Theater Award for Best Actor in a Youth Production. All right, well, good luck. And he's joined by freshman Shikar, who recently took up a new sport. What sport and how'd you get into it? Yeah, I like tennis, and uh, my mom put me into a camp. I didn't want to go, but then when I went, I started liking it. There you go. Imagine that, right? That's yeah. great. All right, the team is coached by Douglas Belay, and the alternates are Bella and Josh, and they are the Phoenix from the Academy for Science and Design. All right, let's turn our attention to their opponents this week, and they are the Tomahawks of Merrimack High School. They're led by senior captain Scott, who has now been on the Granite State Challenge team for how many years? Uh, all four years I've been at high school. All right, and how's the team done in those four years? So my freshman year, we made it to the quarterfinals. Uh, these past two years, we've been to the semifinals, and we're hoping to make it to the finals this year. Perfect. Excellent. He's joined by senior Alex, who participates <clears throat> in something called Boy State. Tell us what that is. Yeah, so this past summer, I was at uh, St. Anselm College, where they have this program called Bo Boy State. Um, it was a mock government, and I was actually elected as the governor. How, how'd you win the race? Um, it was a tie at first, actually. Uh, they had to do a runoff, but I won by a slim margin. All right, well, we got the governor on the team here. He's joined by his neighbor, Troy, and senior, who uh, is a singer. I didn't know this, Troy. Tell us about your singing career. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm part of our school's choir, chamber choir, and I've also made our All-State Choir and the All-Eastern Choir. All right, any recent performances? Yeah, I performed at a recent uh, assembly at our school for the South Koreans where I sang the national anthem. Awesome. Well done. And, of course, rounding out the team, we have senior Andrew. And, of course, if you're a fan of Merrimack, you know Alex and Troy are neighbors. But, Andrew, you're even closer neighbors to someone else on the team. That's right. Uh, you could even say I'm next-door neighbors with uh, Scott over there. We're actually twins. So. You're twin brothers. <laughs> Excellent. All right. The team is coached by Sarah Campbell and Linda Mandra. And the alternates are Nick and Aiden. They're the Tomahawks of Merrimack High School. All right, one more introduction, of course, and that is our judges back with us again this week are Ann Belanger and Jim Johnston. All right, teams, introductions are out of the way. We're going to jump right into the game. As you know, Grand State, State Challenge, we play in four rounds, and in round one, 10-point toss-up questions. You know the drill, ASD, Merrimack, good luck. Here we go. This famous insect is Pinocchio's conscience. Scott of Merrimack. Jiminy Cricket. He's the one. At 1,949 feet deep, Crater Lake is the deepest lake in the United States. It is found in this state. Shikar of ASD. Colorado. Sorry, no. Scott of Merrimack. Nevada. Nope, it is in Oregon. 
This semi-autobiographical play by Tennessee Williams features Laura, an emotionally fragile young woman who collects delicate animal figurines. Alex of Merrimack. Glass Menagerie. Yes. What is the name of the fictional New Hampshire town found in Thornton Wilder's play, Our Town? Scott of Merrimack. Peyton Place. Sorry. Nope. It takes place in Grover's Corner. All right, teams, who were the first and last U.S. presidents not elected to a second term? Had to think a little bit about that one. They are John Adams, the first, and George H.W. Bush, the most recent. All right, the two title characters in Tom Stoppard's absurdist play, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. Uh, Rosencrantz and... Uh, excuse me, are minor characters in this play by Shakespeare. Sorry, Andrew of Merrimack. Hamlet. Yes, you got it right. The phrase, jumped the shark, used to describe the moment when something that was very popular loses its relevance, was coined after this character, in his leather jacket, water skied over a shark on the series Happy Days. Alex of Merrimack. Fonzie. The Fonz, you got it. Neil Peart, considered by many to be one of the best rock drummers of all time, played drums for this Canadian group, known for songs like Tom Sawyer, Xanadu, and 2112. Ella of ASD. Rush. Yes. At 29,029 feet, Mount Everest is the tallest mountain in the world. What is the second tallest mountain? Troy of Merrimack. Mount Kilimanjaro. Sorry, no. <laughs> Jonah of ASD? K2. K2. We'll take it. This country music singer and songwriter who gave up his seat on the plane that crashed, killing Buddy Holly, JP the Big Bopper Richardson, and Richie Valens, wrote and performed the Dukes of Hazard theme song, The Good Old Boys, and was the show's narrator. One of my favorites, Waylon Jennings. All right, teams, I want you to take a quick look at your video monitors for the next clue. Hey, everybody, we're Greg in the Morning Buzz. I'm Roadkill. I'm Greg. I'm Laura. I'm Kayla. And the answer to this question includes the word buzz, and here it is. You might visit this website if you want the latest entertainment gossip, celebrity tweets, or if you want to find out what to know what type of person you are based on your pie preferences. Troy of Merrimack. BuzzFeed. You'd go to BuzzFeed. Teams, in what sport will you find irons, tees, and towels? Troy again. Golf. Yeah. The rapper Most Deaf is also an actor who has appeared as Ford Prefect in the movie adaptation of this work by Douglas Adams. Scott of Merrimack. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yes, you got it. In 1935, this aviator became the first person to fly solo from Hawaii to California in a flight that was so uneventful that she is said to have listened to a radio broadcast of the Metropolitan Opera from New York in the last 30 minutes of her flight. Alex of Merrimack. Amelia Earhart. Yes. This could be a tasty crustacean, the name of a nebula, or a grouchy person. Troy of Merrimack. Crab. A crab. In his 1956 song, Roll Over Beethoven, this singer tells Beethoven to roll and tell Tchaikovsky the news that rock and rhythm and blues is here to stay. Scott of Merrimack. Chuck Berry. Yes. What is the term for a number with only two positive divisors, one and itself? Shakar of ASD. Prime number. Yes, you got it. In a plant cell, what organelle conducts photosynthesis? Andrew of Merrimack. The chloroplasts? Yes. About a minute to go in round one, teams. Three quarters of this autonomous constituent island country of Denmark is covered by an ice sheet. Its capital and largest city, Nuuk, has a population of around 18,000 people. Alex of Merrimack. Greenland. Yes. The flag for this U.S. state has eight alternating white, red, and blue stripes and the United Kingdom's Union Jack in the canton, or upper left corner. Alex of Merrimack. Hawaii. Yes. The role of the judicial branch is laid out in which article of the U.S. Constitution? Jonah of ASD. Three. Article three is correct. 
All right, teams, I'd like you to take a look at your monitor for our next question. It's our Unitil Power question, and this will be a 20-point toss-up question. Take a look. This 2019 song by Lil Nas X was taken off the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart because it wasn't considered country. Scott of Merrimack. Old Town Road. That's the name of the song. All right, teams. That's the sound that ends round one, and it looks like after round one, Merrimack out to a lead by a score of 150 to 40. All right, great job, teams. Well done in round one. We're going to roll right on into round two. In round two, we continue with our toss-up questions. However, we're going to double the point value to 20 points. So we're playing for 20-point toss-up questions. ASD, Merrimack, good luck. Here we go. This singer-songwriter and actress was born in Nashua, New Hampshire, but only lived in the state for a couple of months. Her first hit song was Candy, and she was the voice of Rapunzel in the animated film Tangled. Alex of Merrimack. Katy Perry. Sorry, no. Jonah of ASD. Mandy Moore. You got it. This German theoretical physicist renounced his German citizenship in 1896, became a citizen of Switzerland in 1901, and a U.S. citizen in 1940. Troy of Merrimack. Albert Einstein. Yes. This jukebox Broadway musical, based on the music of the Swedish group ABBA, was made into a 2008 movie, movie musical starring Meryl Streep. Troy of Merrimack. Mamma Mia. Yes. This state, known as America's Dairyland, leads the U.S. in cheese production. Scott of Merrimack. Wisconsin. You got it. This Irish author's last novel, Finnegan's Wake, considered to be one of the most dense and difficult pieces of writing in the English language, combines reality and dream in telling the story of Mr. and Mrs. Porter and their three children. Jonah of ASD. James Joyce. Yes. When Orson Welles and the Mercury Theater broadcast a radio play of this work by H.G. Wells in 1938, some listeners thought that aliens were invading Grover's Mill, New Jersey. Alex of Merrimack. War of the Worlds. Yes. On October 1st, 1975, boxer Muhammad Ali beat Joe Frazier in a match for the heavyweight championship of the world in a thriller in this city. Jonah of ASD. Manila. You got it. This work by John Waters was a 1988 film starring Ricky Lake and Divine, then a Broadway musical featuring Marissa Jarrett Wienaker and Harvey Firestein, and then a 2007 film starring Nikki Blonsky and John Travolta. Jonah of ASD. Hairspray. You got it. Artists like Prince, Cyndi Lauper, Madonna, Aretha Franklin, Stevie Wonder, and the Jackson 5 all had their American TV debuts on this show, hosted by Dick Clark, that aired from 1957 until 1988. Jonah of ASD. American Bandstand. Yes. This Henniker, New Hampshire native's Gaelic Symphony, published in 1897, was the first symphony composed by an American woman. Scott of Merrimack. Beach. Yes, Amy Beach, you got it. All right, teams, go ahead and take a look at your monitors for the next clue. This 1890 painting, Irises, was the work of this artist, also known for his paintings of sunflowers. Troy of Merrimack. Van Gogh. Yes. This author appears as a minor character in his 1952 novel, East of Eden, set in the Salinas Valley of California. Scott of Merrimack. Diane Beck. Yes. This 1979 rap by the Sugar Hill Gang name-checked three members of their group. Wonder Mike, Big Bank Hank, and Master G. O'Brien. Jonah of ASD. Rapper's Delight. You got it. Nicosia is the capital of this island country located in the eastern Mediterranean. Jonah of ASD. Cyprus. Yes, sir. This 19th century English fossil collector, dealer, and paleontologist who discovered the first complete plesiosaur skeleton may have been the inspiration for the tongue twister, She Sells Seashells by the Seashore. Alex of Merrimack. Sally? <laughs> Sorry, nope. Her name is Mary Anning. 
If you are having trouble sleeping, you might want to listen to this composer's vegan lead, Opus 49, number 4. Jonah of ASD. Uh, Brahms. Yes. About 30 seconds to go in round two, teams. Before she became the first woman to receive a medical degree, this woman taught school in Henderson, Kentucky, Asheville, North Carolina, and Charleston, South Carolina. Shakara of ASD. Are you Curry? Sorry, no. She was Elizabeth Blackwell. This U.S. president is known for his big stick diplomacy, epitomized by peaceful negotiation backed up by sizable military strength. Jonah of ASD. Teddy Roosevelt. Yes, he's the one, and with that sound, we end round two, and it looks like Merrimack hanging on to their lead by a score of 290 to 220. All right, teams, as we go into round three, I'd like to invite the alternates to go ahead and join their teams up on the podiums for our 60-second round. In our 60-second round, we give each team 10 questions in a category. Uh, if they answer, we'll give them 10 points for each correct response. If they answer all 10 correct, we'll give them a bonus of 10 for a total of 110 possible points. We're going to start with Academy for Science and Design as the team trailing. Jonah, you can talk to your team, and you can choose from the following three categories. The Mamas and the Papas, K-Pop, and Back to the Garden. Mamas and the Papas, uh, K-Pop, Back to the Garden. Jonah? K-Pop? K-Pop, it will be. All right, Jonah, as team captain, I will take your answer as the team answer, but you can talk to your team. In this category, identify the following music groups or musicians with first or last names that begin with the letter K. 60 seconds on the clock. Good luck. Makeup wearing band fronted by Gene Simmons. Kiss. Yes. She used to have a dollar sign in her name. Kesha. Yes. He wrote the Star Spangled Banner. Francis Scott Key. Yes. She sang about a New York state of mind with Jay-Z. Pass. It's Alicia Keys. This 70s progressive rock band bears the name of the state it was founded in. Kansas. Yes. This rocker had hits with American Woman and Are You Gonna Go My Way. Pass. It's Lenny Kravitz. This R&B group had a number one hit with Celebration in 1980. Uh, cool and the Gang. Yes. He was the lead singer for the band Nirvana. Uh, Kurt Cobain. Yes. This rock band is known for the song Sex on Fire and Use Somebody. Kings of Leon? Yes. Brothers Ray and Dave Davies formed this British rock band in the 1960s. Pass. It's the Kinks. Judges? Seven out of ten on your 60-second round. Good job, ASD. We're going to turn our attention now over to Scott and Merrimack. And, Scott, you can talk to your team. You can choose from the Mamas and the Papas or Back to the Garden. The Mamas and the Papas? The Mamas and the Papas. All right, Scott, I'll take your team. Uh, your answer as the team answer. In this category, the answers to all the following include terms that refer to mothers or fathers. All right, 60 seconds. Good luck. Here we go. He has a long beard, a scythe, and an hourglass. Father Time. Yes, she is credited with writing nursery rhymes. Mother Goose. Yes, this bearded blue leader is over Papa 500 Smurf. years old. Papa Smurf. Yes, this black stand-up comedian got her start working the Chitlin circuit. Pass. It is Mom's Mabley, another name for the main PCB found in microcomputers. Motherboard. Motherboard. Yes, in England, Santa is known by this name. Father Christmas. Yes, necessity is this. Father of Wand. Sorry, it's the mother of invention. More common name for the painting arrangement in gray and black number one. Whistler's mother. Whistler's mother. Yes, Don Vito Corleone was known as this. The Godfather. Yes, character from a nursery rhyme with a bear cupboard. Mama bear. Old Mother Hubbard. Yes, you got it. <laughs> Eight out of ten on your 60 second round. All right, great job teams. Alternates, you can go ahead and grab your seats. And we are going to head into round four. Teams in round four, we play it just like round two with 20 point toss up questions. However, we will be deducting 20 points for any incorrect responses. So play smart, play strategic. Good luck. Here we go. In this sport, athletes spin around and toss a metal ball attached to a wire. Troy of Merrimack. Hammer throw? Yeah, we'll take that. This composer's work, Peter and the Wolf, was written as a symphony that would introduce children to the different instruments found in an orchestra. Jonah of ASD. Prokofiev. Yes. 
Diamonds and graphite are both allotropes of this element. Alex of Merrimack? Carbon. Yes. Teams, you may need pencil and paper for this next question. How many different outfit combinations can you make? If you have eight tops, eight pairs of pants, and eight pairs of shoes, and no hats. Shikar of ASD? 512. That's it. With a population of over 200 million, this is the most populous country in Africa and the seventh most populous country in the world. It is Nigeria. This 750 mile long transform fault runs through California and forms the boundary between the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate. Scott of Merrimack. San Andreas Fault? Yes. This Broadway musical by Stephen Schwartz and Winnie Holtzman is based on a 1995 novel by Gregory Maguire, which is a retelling of a 1900 novel by L. Frank Baum. Jonah of ASD. Wicked. Yes. This member of the U.S. Supreme Court is often referred to as the notorious RBG. Scott of Merrimack. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Yes. The early inhabitants of North America, the Adena, the Hopewell, and the Mississippian, are collectively known as this for the types of earthen structures they created. They were known as mound builders. This singer's album, The Fame Monster, includes the hits Bad Romance and Telephone, Troy of Merrimack. Lady Gaga. Yes. Rapper Tramar Dillard, who had a huge hit with the song Low in 2008, is better known by this name, which is the name of the state he is from, broken into two parts. Alex of Merrimack. Low Rida. Yes. Famine is still a scourge in many parts of the world. world. Spell scourge. Andrew of Merrimack. S-C-U-R-G-E. Sorry, no. Jonah of ASD? S-C-O-U-R-G-E. You got them all. Well done. This could be a first-person shooter video game or a ring of light you might see above a saint's head. Alex of Merrimack. Halo. Yes. Every member of this punk rock band formed in Queens, New York in 1974 took the name of the band as their surname. Troy of Merrimack. Motley Crue. Sorry, nope. That band is the Ramones. All right, team. Swedish writer Astrid Lindgren created this self-sufficient, red-haired, pigtailed, freckled girl who is so strong she can lift her horse over her head. Jonah of ASD. Hippie long stocking. Yes. New Hampshire is known for its white mountains. This state is known for its green mountains. Scott of Merrimack. Vermont. Yes. In 1963, theoretical physicist Maria Gopert Mayer was the second woman to win the Nobel Prize in Physics for her work on the nuclear shell model, along with Eugene Paul Wigner and J. Hans D. Jensen, who was the first woman awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics. Troy of Merrimack. Marie Curie. Yes. This New York City hip-hop group, made up of Mike D. Diamond, Adam M.C.A. Yock, and Adam Adrock Horowitz had hits with the songs Sabotage, Intergalactic, and Fight for Your Right. Alex of Merrimack. Beastie Boys. Yes. Spanish explorer Juan Ponce de Leon named what is now this state the Land of the Flowers. Shikara of ASD. Florida. Yep. This could be the surname of a famous singer or an element that is a liquid at room temperature. Derek of ASD. Uh, Mercury. Yes. This play by Arthur Miller about the Salem witch trials was a metaphor for the Red Scare of the late 1940s and 1950s. Alex of Merrimack. The Crucible. The Crucible is correct. About a minute to go in the game. In April of 2019, this Paris landmark lost its towering spire in a fire. Jonah of ASD. Uh, the Cathedral of Notre Dame. You got it. James Oglethorpe founded this colony in 1733 with a vision for agrarian equality with no man owning more than 50 acres of land. Alex of Merrimack. Georgia. Yes. This German composer wrote the wedding march in C major in 1842 as part of, an I of incidental music he wrote for a production of Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. Shakar of ASD. Beethoven. Sorry, no. <laughs> Uh, Scott of Merrimack. Mendelssohn? Yes, uh, we need both names. First Felix? name and last name. Felix Mendelssohn? Yes. Uh, this science fiction author is known for the short story collection The Martian Chronicles, The Illustrated Man, and I Sing the Body Electric. Scott of Merrimack? Great Bradbury? Yes. 
This actor is best known for his roles as Sam Spade in the Maltese Falcon, Rick Blaine in Casablanca, and Charlie Alna in the African Queen. We're not going to get to the end of that question, but what a great match. ASD, a hard fought, good game comeback. But Merrimack will be moving on to the semifinals by a score of 610 to 430. Congratulations, Merrimack. Great game. We'll see you in a few weeks for the semifinals. Academy for Science and Design, great showing this week. We hope you had fun, and we hope you had fun at home as well. And we hope you join us next week when the Purple Panthers of Nashua South take on the Sauhegan Sabres. We had a great time here this week. We had a lot of fun. We hope you did too. I learned a lot, and I hope you did as well. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Major funding for the production of Granite State Challenge is provided by Unitil. Additional funding provided by NEA New Hampshire, Safety Insurance, New Hampshire Lottery, Heinemann Publishing, Cognia, HRCU, Manchester Community College, and viewers like you. Thank you.